Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights between JDG and NIP during the upper bracket round two phase of the LPL 2024 spring playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Listen to a gank bot if they stay extended for too long. There is a ward in Tribrush, but realistically, does that save you? Summoner's gonna be used here, Joel, with the Aftershock keeps itself alive, forced to flash. Now Ruler trying to escape Ghost, already used flash, available as the knockback, onto missing blocks. Aki, forced to flash himself and is followed! Fotic dives in and Aki gets first blood! They're able to find one down in bot, sadly for Ruler, not enough feathers to get out to try to find a root under tower and maybe equalize it. It did look a little bit dicey. Lane, so now the potential for a gank from JDG to take advantage of that is open. We know Yagawa's gonna be able to keep pressure up in the mid lane. Rookie gonna have to be a little bit more conscious now that he doesn't have a flash. So I definitely think for NIP now having the ult on the Vi is gonna start allowing for some of these kill threats to come through. We can even see him invading on the top side. Missing just about diving away there. As uh, Aki has found Kanavi in this top side. Obviously, Shanji knows summoners or anything, but I don't think it matters because there's no flash. And Shanji finds himself his first kill of the game. And honestly, NIP, they make the P and no equalizer. Yeah, so opportunity for Shanji to get some tower plates. And he's just going to hope that the rest of his team uh, is on board with the fact that this is not a Drake that they can contest. There's a wave under the tower in the bot side as well. So you don't really anticipate much coming out from NIP here. However, Fantastic. they're still looking. That control ward reveals that Flandre's there. Surely at this point you don't fight, but maybe they do. Hooks go in. This is a 4v5 that NIP has started for themselves, but Shanji has roamed on down. It doesn't matter though, because Votic's already gone. One for one now as Rookie chased down by Flandre. Shanji just going to burn him up, but Flandre's so difficult to finish a kill on. The flash for the knockup, the dive on in from Draw, oh. and he actually turns it around. One for one from Flandre. Yeah. deliver on it's this and then you have the scaling to match with things like the corky and the zero you have decent ways of preventing dives with that equalizer like like we just saw like there's a lot of tools with which ADG has but rookie speaking of dives rookie's in trouble knocked under the tower tower immediately eradicated and it's an easy easy pick for jdg rookie really overset me no, and I like it too, right? They had actually hoped to make this play only a minute ago up against Shanji. Wasn't able to come through because of the equalizer. Doesn't expect JDG and to still like commit to being able to find that pick. Or if you need it for Peel, I feel like the Rumble one is even more significant to NIP's draft than the Emperor's Divide because you still have other ways to, to make things happen. Knockup comes through onto Aki here as a hook lands onto Kanavi as well. NIP not going to give up control. Remember, no equalizer here, so Shanji doesn't have a lot of his powers missing. Gets the knockup onto three and gets out with his life. So Shanji trying to chase, but in the meantime, Ruler's on the backside. He's flanking on Zaya and he's making it look good. Fotic chased out of the fight, dashes over the wall, but Ruler is having none of it. 1v1 me, bro. Shanji now chased out the bottom side of the fight. His Yaga wants a little bit more as well there's nowhere for shanji to run jdg individual playmaking turns it on its head i am so impressed ruler there running two of them down aki and Fotic. he was left by himself and he was still able shanji to rookie is going to be key let's see if they can lay down that red carpet rookie with the package available as aki tries to threaten some of this vision control nip Losing Pryo off mid, but still trying to hold on to river control anyway. They have some poke there with the Corgi Hell, even this area a little bit. That's what they're trying to rely on for now, but nothing has been connecting on the JDG. Draws pretty far forwards there. Does walk over towards the rest of his team. I think we might just 50 50 this straight, to be honest. It's 3.5k. Is in they go to start the fight. Keep your eyes out for the package here. As everyone dives in, Aki onto the back line as well. Everybody diving on, but Rookie's been found by Yagao. One for one now. As two go down, but it's a mid laner for support. That's pretty damn good. And at this point, Draws got nowhere to run to. The shield comes through at the last possible second, but it's Flandre to finish another JDG. The team fighting is too much once more. And now JDG, Flandre, clearly gonna be the one to finish off Otip. You can see pinks coming out on the opposite side for no. the Baron. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I got basic auto attacks. It's, it's okay. just too much. In the, in the same spot, too, is the best part. Now, everyone from JDG running up to Baron. The team fighting is there. And look at Yagao, 6 0 on 2 on his ear. Again, the carries of JDG finally it's showing up. His equalizer is well. equalizer? Uh, package. Uh, pretty They're much similar. is. They're very similar. <laughs> But now 10 to 6, massive gold lead off the back of that 5,000 in favor of JDG. Ruler has been found, still has that flash available, looking for Aki, doesn't quite get the feathers, but the damage is there anyway. And Aki just about gets a heal from the Sundered Sky, he walks away, knock up lands, can they finish the job? Finally, Flandre knocks him down, and Missing gets out the bottom side of the play. Rookie and Fotic protected by Shanjik here, but dwo has been found on the opposite side. JDG, they're picking NIP apart, they're keeping their opportunity alive in this bracket missing surviving the onslaught from rookie as Kanavi zoning Fotik away I love what JG are doing again like you said zoning them away running them down just giving them more time to open up the base how far did JG want to push it they want to keep going much JDG have won the last three splits of LPL and they will not let this be the moment that they're denied they can't quite finish the game just yet. Mid inhib taken, one Nexus Tower taken. JDG sent away, but an much wave clear with this composition that realistically without Baron, it's very difficult to take any towers so long as Rookie is there. And especially if Shanji feels the need, he can drop an equalizer. We'll drop that equalizer, but it just doesn't matter. Oh, and now Yagao flies in. He wants this series done with. Yagao has been phenomenal today and he sets up yet another play. Nymero was saying earlier, the guy was a... He's had a cigarette and a Red Bull and he's ready for more. Aki forced away, no mana to work with either. They can't dive underneath the Nexus Towers, but that'll be a top inhib taken. We're looking towards three inhibs here as Dwarf Falls. Forget the inhibs, they want the game. Rookie is next, a double for Kanavi as they push onto the fountain. Ruler forced to ult, but it just doesn't matter. Fotic barely surviving as Flandre tanks the fountain laser. Ruler dived on by Aki, but the gang arrives to protect their AD carry. Game five wins out. JDG, they want to defend their titles. JDG showing again they are they are different from the rest of the this kind of performance, especially out from Ruler and Yagao, is tremendous. Phenomenal game number five. Like it has to be said. While it's not the cleanest series we've ever seen, that game five was near flawless from them. Phenomenal bit of gameplay, and it does make- These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between JDG and NIP. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.